All right, a good Sunday to you. Thanks for finding us here on the YouTube. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist John Dawson. This is our daily tropical update. You heard me correctly. Daily tropical update. If you haven't been here before, you need to know that every single day of hurricane season, yes, even on the weekends, working on a Sunday is what we're doing today, getting you caught up always updated with what's happening in the Atlantic Basin. Yes, yeah, sometimes we take a look at the Pacific as well, but primarily our focus is the Atlantic Basin and what's happening. And we love it when we're able to kind of get on here and just kind of talk, 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 talk a little bit and tell you there's not a whole lot happening. And that's the bigger picture and message that we have today. But I certainly have a few details that I need to kind of point out and just sort of help you manage some of the information that you're going to be hearing coming into your feeds uh, or maybe if you talk to people about this in person uh, there is certainly some signs that we could begin to see some activity within the Gulf of Mexico but let's sort of dive into this and sort of unfold this in a very measured and conservative way to kind of look at what we're talking about. First of all, most of the Atlantic uh, is very quiet right now. And the overall message from the National Hurricane Center, which is what we really want to try to relay to you, is that they're not, we're not expecting any tropical cyclone development within the next seven days. So some of these models that we're going to be talking about are actually kind of reaching out more in the 10 day range. And so we're not really going to be diving into that too much uh, with the, the next seven days is our main focus is sort of what we're going to be looking at. But as we've been discussing uh, throughout the preseason uh, and the beginning of the season so far, the waters here in the Gulf of Mexico are very, very warm uh, for this time of the year. That's unusual for to be this warm. And that is that fuel that's really needed to build up these storms quickly and also making them very strong. It doesn't always help create their organize, organization. Uh, sometimes some winds and some steering currents help to kind of manipulate that a little bit more than others. But as far as just being able to get a storm to build up fast, build up strong, it is a lot to do with these warm waters. And that's certainly what we're seeing in the Gulf of Mexico right now. Now, yesterday I talked a little bit about the fact that we're just going to see a lot of rain headed to Florida. They've had some dry days uh, recently, and so this is certainly going to be beneficial to some respects, but too much rain is not going to be beneficial. And the idea here is basically Basically, tropical moisture, primarily that's that heavy moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, is going to be moving in just unstable air in general, and it's going to lead to a lot of rain. That's a very common pattern that we can really see any time of the year, and it could be really happening anywhere along the Gulf Coast, but this is where we're seeing it right now. Because of the time of year that it is, though, and because we are looking at you know conditions that we would normally be seeing more in the uh, end of July instead of in the middle of June as far as the sea surface temperatures and some of the other um, upper level dynamics. We are kind of paying a little bit closer attention to this than we might for the fact that it could get enough a little bit of a spin to it, organization to it, that it might be something that could be tropical. Wouldn't rule it out, but right now, not looking to be favored within the next seven days. This is the rainfall totals through Saturday, by the way. Uh, and so you'll notice we're getting up over the 10 inch range over that entire week of time. So I'm gonna switch to and um, just sort of remind you that these numbers that we're looking at are gonna be pretty high so far uh, this year. And we're going to continue to see these numbers that we're uh, facing and that we're going to be looking at well above those seasonal averages, which is certainly uh, kind of uh, where we're heading for just a little bit. I, I just want to back up and show you uh, one other uh, graphic and make sure that we get that in there. Nope, I didn't miss it. I wanted to make sure uh, that that was in there as well. So when we're talking about the uh, rainfall, I would I do want to talk about that just a little bit more here on the rainfall. When we're talking about the rainfall that's expected, uh, this is going to be something that we're looking at um, not all at one time. We really I stress that this is through Saturday, so we're going to have rounds of rain that's going to make this kind of accumulation. So again, this is an accumulation map. If we had a bucket sitting out on the beach right along the coast, 
how much rain is going to fall in that bucket over a seven day period all the way through Saturday, basically. And this is those high numbers that we're seeing. So maybe a couple inches on Tuesday, a couple more inches on Wednesday, add four or five on Thursday, you know, see how that can kind of add up. That's how we definitely want to spread that out. And hopefully that's going to be able to be the case here. So we talked about these numbers already. They're very high, uh, certainly uh, well above the seasonal norms. And what I do want to show you just sort of in that sort of sense of how this is all kind of timing out and why we are going to be paying attention to it a little bit. This is going to be our formation areas that we watch. If you just strictly look at the history that we've seen across the Atlantic Basin, and this is going to be uh, something that's basically based from 1944 through 2020. So this is a little bit of a limited amount of data. It doesn't stretch all the way back. This is keeps with sort of when we have consistent reports from ships and certainly once we get into the satellite era that we certainly see. But this is a, a lot of times where we see formation begin. So this isn't a landfall map. I'm not showing you where we would see landfalls, but obviously if you have something that forms in the Gulf of Mexico, there's only so many places it can go, right? Uh, so it's going to probably make a landfall somewhere, but these are formation zones where we see tropical storms, a named storm uh, form uh, this time of year in the month of June. And again, why we're kind of focusing on it is, of course, where we have all this instability, where we're seeing all this rain, that's certainly something that could be happening. Now, hold your seats, everybody. I'm going to show you another graphic here, and I don't want anyone to jump ahead to thinking we're going to be looking for a hurricane this week. But when you look at the same kind of information for specifically where hurricanes have formed, in the month of June, historically, with that limited data, that dates that I gave you. This is the area. This is, again, lines up really well with where we're seeing the instability coming at us this week. And that, of course, could be extended even a little further than a week into that 10-day uh, forecast as well. So to be clear, I'm not saying let's get ready for a hurricane in this area. I'm saying, historically speaking, in the month of June, this is where we see the formations. Now, what's interesting though, is I've already made this a point to, to talk about the fact that a lot of our conditions right now aren't typical for June. They're more typical for July or maybe even August with when we look at some of the dynamics that are out there uh, and forming. So just kind of keep that in mind that there's a lot of information here that we're kind of churning through a little bit. But all that points to the basics that we're gonna be watching the Gulf of Mexico closely, not so much maybe in the next five days, but once we get into that six and seven day range, and especially through another six or seven days, that's that time period that we're going to look right now. But for now, this is what I like to inf information I like to share over the next seven days, not expecting tropical development within the Atlantic Basin. Make sure you check back here again tomorrow. We record these a little bit after 4 p.m. every day. That's when we'll get them uploaded as quick as we can to YouTube, and so we'll expect to see you again tomorrow.